Alright guys, in this video what I'm going to do is basically uh, I'm going to show you how to use the headline generator uh, in this video. Um, so uh, basically you're going to go to the main site here, Graphic Creator. If you haven't signed up for this yet, please do it. It's absolutely free. It's a really cool program to use. Um, and you can read through here just what it's about. Uh, so basically to get back into the system, all you have to do is enter your email again and then it'll take you right to the back end of where the product is <clears throat> or if you have the email already from when you opted in it'll have the link so I'm gonna pause the video and and get right into it okay from here you're you're this is the back end right here and what I want to show you a little bit uh, before I get into it is please take a second to check out these sponsors that I have on here these are really cool products that I use myself that are just absolutely amazing and I, and I really wanted to just kind of share it with the rest of the world because these things are really really cool um, so I'll go ahead and launch the wizard right now you just click on this okay and then as you see here you have an option and I'll try to make this a little bit bigger for you okay you can do a headline creator buy now creator belt your button or guarantee we're gonna do the headline creator which is pretty sweet All right, so right here, it, this is pretty easy to use. As you can see right here, you got the entire uh, headline. Uh, you can, uh, it, it's really neat. This this program allows you to uh, make this in any kind of different kinds of styles. Um, you can add things to the headline, and then I'll show you right here. So, first of all, just to let you know, you can edit this text at any time, just like this. So, like like my site says, you don't need to know. Um, Photoshop or anything like that. Uh, down here you have doodles, uh, color effects, and diff right down here is the different styles. So I can click on a different style to make the, um, the graphics look different, different font. And at any time you can also change the color of this. Like on the color it says main headline, which I believe is up at the top here. So if I click this, as you can see at the top it starts to change colors. So I can make that blue. Uh, the main copy, which is all of this, I could easily just go into the color scheme, change the color of that, whatever you want. You've got more colors to be able to choose from, just like this. You can change this, and then the bottom, the PS copy, at any time you can change the color, and all you have to do is start typing away, right? So really cool thing, too, is that you can also add these little doodles right here, like you can do a highlight, and as you can see here, I can put a highlight over something to really emphasize you want people to look at that area and then if you hit the circular button right here it'll scroll through and make different types of highlights and this does this for all the doodles see um, makes it just like that and all you gotta do is click the check again takes it off uh, quick underline this is really cool so I can put this over here underneath something I want to show once again I can change it change it on and on and on okay take that off circle it I can move this around and these are the different styles. Okay. I'll draw an arrow. I can move this around just like that. And make different types of arrows. Okay. Click off that. And extra doodles would be something like this. Check mark, stars, free, money, so on and so forth. Take that off. And then once you like what you have, you're just going to click save graphic as JPEG and it comes up like this. Now what you want to do to be able to save this is you want to right click and it depends on what kind of browser you're using you can either do go right in and save image as um, unfortunately on mine with the Firefox that I have it's doing, if you look down here it says all files, you don't want it to say that, you want it to say PNG uh, you want it to be a PNG file so what I have to do is right click the image and do view image info okay now it's got the info then click save as and then as you can see it's a PNG image just like that um, and that's all you have to do very simple so if, if you can't save it as a PNG just remember right click view image info then click save as that simple and you just saved yourself a ton of time compared to going out and hiring someone to create a custom headline graphic for you for your site. So uh, this is David signing off. Hope this helped.